Hello, YouTube! Today we're going to talk a little bit about Starbucks and why you probably shouldn't go there. But first, a little bit of a disclaimer. I don't think there's anything wrong with you if you enjoy the way Starbucks coffee tastes. Just like I don't think there's anything wrong with you if you occasionally enjoy gas station coffee. It's just that having spent most of my adolescence in a local coffee shop, made me into a little bit of a coffee elitist. Number one. The most obvious reason of why you shouldn't go to Starbucks is quality. Starbucks, though expensive, doesn't really have very much in the way of quality. For instance, coffee beans are a very tricky matter. Every bean is going to taste different depending on where it came from, the amount of sunlight and rain it received, and the composition of the soil. This means it's going to be very difficult to obtain a uniform taste with any coffee bean, as each batch is going to have its very slight variations in flavor, body, and mouthfeel. Now, Starbucks really needs to taste the same anywhere you go. And since every bean is different, there's only one way to accomplish this. Over roast the beans to the point of charcoal. Now this homogenizes the roast and gets rid of any subtleties that you might detect in the coffee. But this also brings out many bitter flavors in the coffee, which brings me to my next point. Starbucks drinks are more sugar than they are coffee. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with enjoying sugary drinks, but when you have to put five shots of vanilla in a coffee drink just to make it palatable, there is something seriously wrong. Number two. Now this isn't a very obvious point since usually we equate Starbucks with being a very green company because their cups are made out of recycled material but what we oftentimes miss is the fact that their the cups themselves are not recyclable because though they are made out of recycled paper they are lined with a thin layer of plastic that gives the cup structure which then renders the product unrecyclable and within a year we threw away about 2.3 billion of these cups now I couldn't find out how many times that could cover Texas but if someone figures out for me, like finds like a venti Starbucks cup, like gets me like the surface area that the bottom of it covers, then I could tell you how many times it covers Texas. And I will put it right here. Number three. Another thing associated with Starbucks is fair trade, which is where you don't work people to death, pay them unfair amounts just so they can pick your overpriced coffee beans. And something that may or may not shock you is that 80% of Starbucks coffee beans are not fair trade, they are free trade, which means that you do all the horrible things that I just mentioned. And most of the time, in order to be able to use fair trade coffee, you have to ask them specifically to brew you some fair trade coffee. And even then, and unfortunately this isn't just true to Starbucks, but your money will still end up supporting sweatshops and child labor because you're supporting a company that buys mainly free trade coffee as opposed to fair trade. Now what you're probably going to ask me is this, what can I do? What are my alternatives to Starbucks? As far as making other people make coffee for you, the best thing that you can do is find a locally run coffee shop, bring your own reusable cup, and purchase as much fair trade coffee as possible. You'll get even more green points if they roast their coffee locally too, which makes the coffee fresher and tastier by the way. And if you don't have a Starbucks alternative located near you, I would suggest investing in an espresso machine, coffee grinder, if you want to grind your own beans, which makes the coffee much better, and of course some coffee beans, and make your own cup of coffee. Because in the long run, it will actually end up paying you back and end up being cheaper than your coffee shop habit. And the coffee will be better quality, depending on how adept you become at pulling a good shot of espresso and steaming the milk. And if you can't find a local alternative to Starbucks, you really don't want to invest in an espresso machine, then you can continue going to Starbucks on these conditions. Try as much as possible to bring your own cup and buy only fair trade coffee. It may take them a few more minutes for them to stop everything and prepare your cup of fair trade coffee, but in the end, thousands of humans will thank you for buying fair trade. That was all I could think of on the matter, but if you have anything else, feel free to leave a comment. Subscribe if you like this video, because there will be many more like it. YouTube, I'll see you next time. By the way, I added a background because I was pretty sure that you didn't want to look at ugly curtains every time I filmed a vlog. The vlogs will now be color-coordinated based upon their content. More information in the doobly-doo.